share street smart marketing stories. Welcome to the December 2010 makeover episode where we will groom a heinously bad website for Levitas Chihuahuas in home Kansas. But first it's time to reveal the winner of next month's makeover. In a tightly contested race, the UF print Twitter background defeated Valpac's folded arms brochure and the highly underwhelming Richmond Heritage Federal Credit Union website. In the end, the toxic combination of a trendy social medium and schizophrenic 80s style was simply too much to overcome. You know, while you have to applaud a printing wholesaler for being on Twitter in the first place, the background makes it highly difficult to focus on any of their tweets. Between the word WOW appearing in giant letters and the puzzling use of comic book style symbol swearing fonts and random women sitting in futuristic orange chairs, there's plenty of opportunity for the makeover team at Firespring on this one. So congrats to our friends at United First Print in Riverside, California for taking home this month's prize. You guys really outdid yourselves. Okay, now on to this month's makeover for Levitas Chihuahuas, or Chihuahuas for Sale, exclamation point, as it's affectionately known. There are so many design crimes committed on the front page alone that it reads like a rap sheet. Among the most amusing and or annoying is the song, Oh Chihuahua, that begins playing when you arrive. Next to the player, the following message appears. Don't like music? Turn it off here. If liking music means having to like this Ricky Martin ripoff, I guess you can count me in the camp that doesn't like music, right? Other low lights include an ugly dated wallpaper image underneath colored and flashing text, and no less than 10 animated graphics above the fold alone, including dogs wagging their tails, a billowing Kansas state flag, and a solitary candle burning in honor of our troops. And when your audience doesn't know where to look on a first page, that's the sign of a bad web design. When your audience doesn't know the first 10 places to look, you've managed to produce something so mind-blowingly terrible it's almost majestic in its degree of failure. That said, their love for chihuahuas is undoubtedly genuine, and they appear to be responsible dog breeders, which definitely counts for something. What they need is a website that better reflects the commitment they've made to these miniature pooches. Let's see what Firespring came up with. You know, from a design standpoint, I think you can safely say that this represents an improvement. For one, I don't feel like I'm trapped in 1996 anymore. Secondly, I actually have a sense of where to look when I arrive and how to get to where it is that I want to go. All you amateur DIYers out there, take note. Flashing text and animated buttons do not make a site easier to navigate. You know, as bad as the design looked before, I wouldn't have avoided doing business with them, as I don't generally expect much from breeders in regards to marketing. But this new site positions Levitas Chihuahuas as breeding experts who care about their professionalism as much as their teacup-sized canines. Once again, Firespring has taken an old dog and taught it a few new tricks. Now it's up to Levitas Chihuahuas to adopt this design and step into the next decade with a well-trained website. Good luck with your decision, guys. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in here at Good, Bad, and Ugly TV next time where we share examples of good and bad marketing from around the country. And on the first Friday of every month, reveal the ugliest marketing we could find in America and share with you the results of the previous month's makeover. Special thanks go out to Audible.com and to our makeover sponsor, Firespring. Please don't forget to log into our website and submit your examples of good and bad marketing. For Good, Bad, and Ugly TV, I'm Jay Wilkinson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.